Hi guys, it's Brittany. So today's gonna be a dream time video and today I'll be telling you this dream I had about I think a year ago, maybe two years ago. Yeah, I would say uh, about two years ago. So, and I would love for this to happen. Um, but if it were, I think it would definitely need to get other people's attention and maybe for those to realize, okay, um, just for the sake of it, we're going to do it. So what I mean by that is that I, like I said, about two years ago, I had this dream where I, there was this special premiere going on at the movie theater and um, it was, now Batman Forever was re-released in theaters and it seemed like the, the movie was released in theaters again for its 30th anniversary. And believe it or not, um, it will have its anniversary in uh, 2025. So, because it came out in 95, so it will have its anniversary uh, until that year, which will be three years from now? Like, yeah, like about three years from now. So, but I'm hoping that. If this were to happen one day, I don't want to be just with that movie because there are some other movies that came out that year that I think need to be re-released in theaters just to celebrate even other movies and first reads. Now, of course, I'm not talking about every single movie that came out in 95, but I think maybe certain ones in particular, which I think I have in mind that should come out um, three years from now just to celebrate its anniversary. So, and I think that'll be great. So anyway, so in this dream, I remember wearing this really, really pretty dress. And it was this special premiere where Batman Forever was re-released in theaters. And, you know, even at your um, like, um, local theaters as well. And everyone is just, um, attending to the theater, but I think I was the first one there because because that was early. Because <laughs> for those who may or may not know, I am a Batman fan, and now of course I didn't really grow up um, reading the comics. Although I I re would really like to read the comics just to know more about Batman and and everything else. But I did grow up watching the movies like. Um, um, Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and yeah, so I grew up watching pretty much the movies itself, and yeah, I, yeah, I became a, a fan of Batman qu quite young, you know, when I was little, because even though back and forth I probably would watch Batman and Batman Returns maybe, maybe like a few times here and there, but somehow to me, now, to me there's just something about Batman Returns that really um, disturbed me a bit more just because it was a bit more dark. And so, yeah, so I didn't watch it as much because I didn't like the, the dark tone to it, which I would say now looking back on it, it's like, I can see why it did, but at the same time, now of course I don't I still don't like the dark tone as much, but it does make the movie great, which I do get that, but I think certain parts here and there that I'm like, okay, that's just a little dark, like, but I think the ending though, however, I'm like, whoa, okay, you know, especially the way Max Shrek died and how he looked afterwards, to me that's like too disturbing, like, oh, okay. No. So yeah, I think even that pretty much, I think, scared me, you know, quite young. But my favorite out of all the Batman movies is, of course, Batman Forever, which is why I had this dream where it was out in theaters again and, and how I was the first one there. <laughs> 
And so I just remember feeling just so happy and excited and I was just like, oh, like I can't wait. And of course I remember smelling um, the smell of popcorn at the theater, which to me just felt like home. Now the thing is, I will say that to me, when I do go to a movie theater, like any movie theater, like just with the smell of popcorn and knowing that you see the, um, like when you go there to get popcorn and get some snacks and a drink, to me, knowing when you get something, like I said, a snack and even a drink and you're about to see a movie, to me, it just feels like home to me just because of the fact that I love movies like it's not just one thing but it's pretty much everything like what makes a movie like the story and like the cast and their performances and how they really put their hard work into the movie and those even on screen and um, behind the scenes so there's pretty much a lot that I love about movies you know about um, film, you know, in general, and what brings the story to life um, into the movie that makes it so great and not just entertaining, but also something you can relate to and something you can also um, feel, something that will move you, um, make you feel anything, you know, emotionally, and that's what I love about it. So, of course, so being at the movie theater just feels like home to me, but, you know, like a second home, you know, and so yeah, I remember just feeling very comfortable being there and everyone at the theater was just so nice. And of course, I remember getting like um, some popcorn, I got a drink and got some snacks. Yeah, I remember getting some candy too as well, which was nice. And to me, it just felt oh, so felt so good to be there. And here's the funny thing, cause I remember, I think I was the first one to to see the movie. So when I was sitting down, you know, on the theater seat, um, now here's the thing, I I just want to say this real quick. Um, when I do go see a movie, I don't really like to sit in the front as much, just because. There have been times I've sat at the very front and then instead of watching a movie like this, my head will be a little up. And if my head is up of looking at the theater screen because it's, you know, real big, you know, right in front of you. So it's kind of like looking up for too long, my neck will hurt. So. Yeah, that's why I don't like sitting at the front as much, but I like to sit mostly in the back so that way I can be relaxed, you know, like this and be watching it like this, but not like this. Because having my neck up like this will just hurt um, here, like right through the muscles, so no. I mean, for those who probably don't mind sitting at the front, that's fine. I'm just saying, I like sitting at the back so that way it kind of looks like you're having the whole screen to yourself and you don't have to look up as much, you know, that's all I'm saying. So yeah, I remember sitting, you know, somewhere in the back and now for the, <laughs> the thing is I was the only one there and someone who had worked at the theater came up to me and he said, um, he said that other people are coming, but it's gonna take a while. Um, I think it's not not gonna be until an hour or two hours until people arrive. Cause I think, I think for those who are Batman fans and those who probably love the movie as well, is that you know right now I think it's gonna take a while for people to get here because, you know right now it's like I'm the only one there, and I said oh. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, um, yeah, I could always watch it again, you know, even with lots of people here. And it was like, okay. And, and here's the funny thing because when I was watching the movie of Batman Forever on the big screen, I remember it was now, it was the part where uh, Bruce Wayne 
and um, Chase. You know, it's, it's the scene where they attend to Edward Nygma's um, Nygma Tech party. And so when they arrive, of course, it shows how, you know, they're talking, but it's mostly um, Bruce and Edward, how they're the ones talking. But it's funny because it was still that scene, but somehow I think there was a bit more dialogue into that scene. Because I remember Jim Carrey, you know, as Edward, Edward Nygma, I remember him saying something. Uh... To Val Kilmer, you know, as Bruce Wayne, I remember him saying something to him. I don't remember what it was, but I think it was something he said that actually was funny. And I laughed, <laughs> but I don't remember what it was. Like, I don't remember what he said, but I think it was the way he said it that that sounded funny. And so, yeah, and I just remember... And here's the weird thing, because I remember thinking, like, I don't remember that in the movie. Because <laughs> even the, the, the funny thing is, sometimes when I do dream about movies, sometimes I'll do dream about the same scenes, but sometimes that same scene can turn into something different. And that's happened before. Many times. That's happened before, even when I dreamt about Batman Returns, were you know, after Catwoman kills Max, but then after him being electrified, should I say, that instead he still looks the same as he did, and and yet he turned very pale, and he has his electric powers, and he came back as like, uh, ah, like electrical and so yeah and so it, it seemed like he became like a super villain with with those kinds of powers so of course that scene itself stayed the same of the movie but turned into something different so that's what happened in this dream where uh hang on let me take a little break <laughs> This is coffee. This is um, Dutch Bros. Now this is the first time I've had their coffee and it is so good. It is. They have different flavors of coffee and this one is toasted mellow. So yeah, it's actually really good. Now of course I still love Duncan. Don't get me wrong. Of course, I still love Duncan, I still love their coffee, but unfortunately out here, they close at 4 p.m. because normally they close at 7 p.m., but in this case, they close at 4, which, why? I don't know. Could be, maybe they're low on staff? I mean, I don't know. I really don't know, but, it's, uh... Duncan, if you open out here again at 7 p.m., uh, please let me know because I do miss your coffee and I hope to have it soon. Uh, but of course, even though as much as I love Duncan, at the same time I will have other, I will have coffee from other coffee shops because I'm not too picky when it comes to coffee. Although I think it kind of depends on a certain place, like if I've heard, oh it's really good, then I'll get it from there. But if I've heard like, um, it's not that great, then I, I probably won't. But it kind of depends. So anyway, I know I went off track for a bit. So, anyway. Yeah, so it's like, that's how it happened in this part where between... Edward and Bruce are having this conversation, you know, and like I said, there's something that Jim Carrey as Edward says something to Val um, as Bruce, there's something he said, which I don't know what it was, but it's the way he said it was actually was funny, and I laughed, and, and of course, but even after that, I thought, okay, I don't remember that part of the movie. But okay, <laughs> like, okay, that was funny. 
And so, of course, I still remember just... I Now, of course, even afterwards, it still continued the same like it was in the movie. But I just remember just looking at the screen, just feeling happy, just feeling excited. Because I was happy because, for one, it's my favorite Batman movie. And I just love watching it. Like... And that's the one I grew up with the most because I loved it when I was little and I still love it now. Like to me, now of course the, the, there might be some things I wouldn't mind to change maybe a little bit but other than that I love everything about it. Like don't judge me, okay? Please don't because um, for, I would say for those who love the other Batman movies, even the ones that are probably a, bit, a little bit more dark, including like The Dark Knight or The Dark Knight Rises, like that's okay. You know, I won't judge you for that because everyone's different. Everyone has their own taste in Batman movies and you know, that's okay. You know, with me, I don't like the dark tone so much, but with Batman Forever, it's just so different and unique and I you know, it completely stands out and to me, I I just love everything about it, you know, including Val Kilmer as Batman, you know, even the cast with Jim Carrey as the Riddler and Chris O'Donnell as Robin, you know, Dick Grayson and Nicole Kidman as Dr. M M how do you say her first name? M Meridian Chase? I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> And then, now of course with Tom Lee Jones as his face, I would say he could have done maybe a bit better with his performance, but other than that, it's I, I still find it very enjoyable to watch. And now of course, the way this dream ended, it ended on a good note because I was happy, I was I was content, and I was just excited, you know, to be there to watch Batman Forever on the big screen for its anniversary and now to me it just felt so real that I thought I was actually there, you know, just, you know, having a good time, like probably having like just the time of my life there, but of course by the time I woke up I was like, I looked around my room and I was like, Oh, like, can that be real? Can that really happen? Like, please. Now, like I said, I don't know if that's something that would really happen. I don't know. I mean, it could. Now, of course, it could come out again in theaters for its 30th anniversary or maybe for its 35th anniversary. But then again, I, I don't know. But I would love it if that were to really happen. And I would just say this, that now, of course, this, because of the fact that um, Batman Forever is my favorite Batman movie, it's all thanks to to the late director of Joel Schumacher, um, may he rest in peace, and, and because of how he brought this movie to life, and the, the way he directed it and and how everything was just blended together and was just done so well that in my opinion it's like the best and most enjoyable entertaining Batman movies that I've ever seen which is why I love it the most out of all of them that I've seen and I would say because of the fact that Joel Schumacher did direct this movie, I think it, in his honor, I think it, in, in his memory, I think it would be great to re-release that movie out probably in 2025 for Batman Forever's 30th anniversary, you know, just to in honor of the late director of Joel Schumacher because he directed so many great movies that I think this one should be considered to be re released out in theaters 
worldwide and make it like a special premiere and knowing that he did this movie so well and knowing everyone who worked on this movie did such a great job that they also should get the credit they deserve as well and I truly believe that and I hope that could become real. I hope the dream I had could become a reality one day. And if it does happen, I will be there and I hope somehow I could get maybe an invitation to attend to Batman Forever's special um, 30th anniversary premiere. Because I think that will be like one of the greatest, most um, special moments, you know, that I would just love and I think that to me that would be very memorable and I would just love for that to happen even like with any other favorite movies like with any other favorite movies that I have that could come out for its um, anniversary and to celebrate it and those who are fans of it to attend to it that would be great I think that would be yeah, I think that would be amazing. So that's how it ended. And I hope one day that would really happen. And for those who are watching this, and I just want to say in case it was even possible, even for those who have worked hard on the movie and who even enjoyed working on this movie, I would really love to see it out in theaters again for its 30th anniversary and if it happens within three years from now that would be great and if so please make that possible like anyone out there who can make that possible one day i i hope it does so <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say and um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this dream time video which yeah, like I said, again, it would be amazing if that were to become reality, like knowing that it wouldn't be just a dream that I had, but it would be from a dream to becoming a reality, and that would just be amazing. So, let me know what you thought of this dream, and let me know if you would like that, where other movies can be re-released in theaters, where it could celebrate its, um, where it could have a special premiere of celebrating its anniversary and where anyone could attend to. So let me know if you like that idea because that would be amazing, you know, for, for any movie, you know. So that's all for today and I'll see you at the movies.